Welcome back to the channel guys. We're with Josh. He's yeah. made it all the way back from Canada for, what was it, four days? You were waiting? Four days of delays. Four yeah. days of delays. But you, no one likes that. <laughs> but today, I, can I just point out your steering wheel? Oh my actual God, that is so nice. Look at it, look at that. I'm scared to touch it. I'm scared to touch, I would be scared to touch, that's really nice. But today isn't about the S15. We are gonna make our way. Yeah, but yeah. no one wants to, it's broken <laughs> again, let's just say that. But today we're gonna make our way to Joe's house. Now, Joe's been on the channel before because he cut the back of this up, basically. He's good at that stuff. He's good at that stuff, but he's putting a new engine in his Mark II Escort, which everyone is not gonna like. The purists will not like it. But it's okay, because we like it, yeah. and he likes it. But I hope you guys like it too. Let's get on the road, let's do, let's do this, let's do this. custom-made exhaust right there by Joe himself. By the way, there's a video cruising around the internet coming out of Goodwood, yeah. and oh, it sounds so good. Whoever <laughs> shot that, legends, but it sounds like I've on point. Three different ones now. Three different, yeah, yeah, three different shots. Shout out to the car spotters out there that got that. You did well. Right, so this is the car in question. I'm gonna take you through it with Joe himself because we need to show you guys exactly what is going on here. So what engine have we got in front of us, Joe? Come on, no, talk to me. At the moment. So this wasn't good enough, was it? No. What sort of power are we talking? Maybe 80. 80. Um, original engine? I think it's a replacement, but yeah. Replacement, but it's the right one for the car. But this isn't enough power, is it? No. Nope. Let's be honest. You know, with the rest of the stuff that you've done to the car, there is a slight JDM theme going on with um, these Recaros. But again, you guys have seen, you know, those little bits and bobs. But we'll take you in to the garage to have a look at the engine that's going in this thing. So this is the engine in question. It's out of a AE111 Corolla. So you guys may remember when I did a Starlet with this engine in. Uh, really, really revy, about 8,000 RPM rev limiter, I think, on these sort of engines. Here's the thing. This is a Japanese engine. It's going in a Ford. We understand that a lot of people may not like that, but we like that. I think it's really, really cool. Yes, you could have gone for a Duratec or a Z-Tec swap, but I think these are a lot more revier and you get a lot more out of them. Joe, go on, talk to me. Why is this a good idea? Why, why are you doing this? Because people want to know why you're taking the Ford engine out and putting a Toyota engine in. It's different. It's different. It's different. I like that. Obviously, these have individual throttle bodies as well yep. as a standard thing, but you just put trumpets on there. It's all been bought separate, but um, to make it rear-wheel drive, I had to move distributor and the water rail. On so the from the back of the engine. engine. So if we go round, the distributor was here. Yeah, the, the coolant manifold and everything was here. And obviously, that's going to touch the firewall yep. because it goes this way round in the engine bay which is a task in its own getting that round there, I suppose, but you're just rerouting. So that's quite easy enough to get these parts, I suppose. Get, yeah, getting them is easy enough. But yeah, not in, Europe. not in Europe. So this is more of a import only sort of stuff. Um, we were talking, it's mostly Australia, I think. Mostly Australia. You know, is this quite a common thing that people do? It is into 86s. Into 86s, but not into yeah. a Mark, Mark II. But the rest of the bits that you've changed are down here where thermostat housing, what this one, what radiator is gonna come out yep. onto the front, because usually it's... Usually be about here, and now it's... Here, be. and it's gonna be on the front. Gearbox though, this is the gearbox that's going in it. What gearbox is it out of? Sierra? Yeah, five speed from a Sierra. Five speed from a Sierra, and obviously mounting that to that means that you had to go for one that, of one of them, which we were just talking, and the clutch that's going in this is actually gonna be formed from two clutches, so you've bought a what a Sierra clutch? Yeah. Uh, and Sierra. and a Toyota clutch to actually get those mated together. <laughs> the 4AG engine 
into you know a Sierra gearbox and then into a Mark II is is pretty crazy. So at the moment he's actually putting the fuel system in, but it's going from carb into fuel injection um, on this. So more expense, more expense, more expense. Um, a lot of people again may not understand why this is a good idea, but I can completely see it. I can see why that that engine should go in that car it's, it's gonna be absolutely nuts so coming back to the car we were talking about engine mounts as well because obviously it's considerably different one thing i have to point out though especially on video is how small this bay actually is i can see why you've had to move so much you know the stuff around the engine that engine like the bulkhead is so close really it's so intrusive into the actual bay you're going manual brake so that'll get give you a load of space there so you're moving this whole bay around basically just to get that engine in there the engine is not physically much bigger it's just wider right okay it looks considerably big out of the bay it looks a lot bigger than this engine so much wider where it's got all the throttle body stuff out the side that's why all of this has to go up here to fit in but the, the length of it is much the same i think the plan as well is to not cut as much really out of this bay sort of keep it not original but like nice and neat and near as possible you were saying that you might have to cut um a little bit here just to what get the engine in centered i suppose so it's a bit happier but that's just yeah Josh is like yeah let's cut everything up so one of the things to point out especially about this engine is it is pretty much completely standard going in this car now if you were to put an equivalent say rs2000 engine in this that had maybe the same sort of power you would be looking at you know really ramping that engine up and it would become slightly unreliable this engine though is going to be completely standard when it goes in the car so in theory it's going to be a lot more reliable it'll be you know more turnkey ease but i hope you guys appreciate this sort of build something a little bit different going in an old school ford now i must point out as well this can be reversed. So if Joe decides he doesn't really want this in a couple of years time, he can actually swap this engine out. That's the big idea of making it really clean, not cutting too much out of the bulkhead and out of sort of the engine bay itself. Something really, really interesting and I wanna cover as much as I can on the channel with this thing. It's gonna be pretty exciting. But coming down here, what's going on here, mate? Why is the bonnet open already? Nosing. You're dozing? Nosing. Yeah, well, you know, it's dodgy mechanics around here, you hey. know? Dodgy, oh, really? dodgy mechanics. So what have you done to it anyway? What's, what's, what's the crack? Ha. Ha, what's the crack? What's the, the crack? Do you get it? The manifold cracked. Um, lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty shout out. Yeah. So that's all right, it, that's happened. All done. It's all done, it's fixed. See, bonnet closed, don't open it again. Don't even look at it. Can we just all appreciate how good this thing looks at the moment as well? Full on stance right out. Not low enough. Camber at the front. Not low enough. Not low enough. Hats off to you, mate. It look, actually looks fantastic at the moment. It still, it still That's scrubs. That's fine, like, it's where you want it to look though, isn't it? I'm tempted by a different bumper. That isn't quite so... So slammy, 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 slammy. We'll see. I think it works, I mean, look, look at it. Look, it looks so good. But if that was up, the rest of the car can be... Down, down. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, like, we have got a good bit of stance there. That stance right there. Look, you can see tyre tread. That's so stance. Now, if we come around here, look how stance the rear end is now. You you have fallen into the stance game, haven't you? That's what's happened. What's you, you ain't been there. <laughs> and then you bought Airride Golfs and stance this out. <laughs> What does the internet think of Josh right now? He's stancing everything out. Stancing out. See, this stancing out. See, this is the video where everyone will quite seriously hate on the build that's happening over there, and then they'll hate that you've ruined this. It's not ruined. It's, right it's not ruined. It's so good. Oh, you have no idea. And that engine is going to be insane in that thing. Honestly, it's going to be mad. <laughs> Take a nice drive now because we all need some food. Yeah. We're gonna snacks it right up. That looks so good driving. I haven't actually been behind it. It's Look at high. it. It's, it's easy. We need to troll Joe so hard on how hard yeah. how high it is. <laughs> it's just so nice to see one of those on the road because you don't really well we don't see them a lot. So it's nice to see one. Yeah, and so do you know giving it a proper engine is exactly what the fight is here. Giving it a proper engine. Unfortunately, yeah, the standard engine's great, but it hasn't got the minerals, I don't think. And keeping it naturally aspirated is sort of the key as well. So I think this is a good swap. It's and all about fuel injection. And we fuel injection. <laughs> and I think it's going to be really, really good to drive. Yeah. Revy. It's going to be Revy. Do a burnout. Do a burnout. Do it. He didn't do a burnout. Josh did a burnout. They were right into him. 
Yaris. Where's the I go? I go, I don't know what the bloody thing is, mate, if I'm honest. All right, this is the point where Josh needs to air up, but um, can't air up because there's no air ride. So, um, oh, that yeah, oh, that was that was a nice bit of uh, curbage there. Oh, stancing. Oh, we're fine. Oh, you need to lay your car, mate. You need to lay your car. You need to lay your car. You need to lay your car. Do a drift. Do a drift. Do a, do a drift. Oh, we're sideways. We did a drift. Yay, peer pressure, Josh. I Josh, Josh did peer pressure drift. I just made Josh do a drift. Fantastic. <laughs> I might straddle it. Go on, straddle it. I dare you. I might straddle too. Here we go. Straddle. Nice view. Let's check the view. Past Joe's face. Oh, can't see this shed of the S15. Oh, get out of your face out of the way. Race cars. Race cars. Race cars. Race cars. Fantastic spot for lunch there. How did your meal go? It was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Shout out to the White Horse. If you're ever on the Isle of Wight, the White Horse is a place to come to because it's at the end of Military Road, and Military Road is a fantastic place to go and hoon your cars. Is it going to scrape? Are we going to scrape? It's just about to scrape. Wait, did we? Mate, you're not stance enough. He's up there, somewhere. Chase him down, Josh. That's the spirit. This is a shot right here. Shots on shots. Look at his arm out the window. Base flex. Well. A base flexing deep in the Mark II <laughs> with his arm out the window. Let's just get in there, shall we, with, with quite a serious bit of zoom. Oh, the indicator's on. Let's see that flex, Joe. Come on. Let's see some flex. Flex. Horse Thanks, poo. Joe. Wee. Horse Thanks. poo. Thanks, wee. Oh, right. another import. Import crew. So what have we got here? We have wires and stuff. What are you doing with this, then? Uh, I think we're going to try and mock, mock it up a bit. Mock it up a bit? See what's it's, needed, so, what's it's, it's sort of traced out a little bit already. Like, oh, yeah, it's on there, isn't it? No. It's on there. Um, this is obviously going to go in here. So it needs to be fed properly, I think. And this is the man for the job. And yeah, you are actually an official electrician on the books. So you better be good at this. Bang it out in half now, will you? Cheers. <laughs> I actually ain't got a clue what, what is this. So yeah, wiring diagrams, we understand. But like, what is all that? We've got wiring for... A similar, 4AG. Similar Corolla. A similar Corolla. Right Not one. from this year. <laughs> but it's alright because you've got a professional here. See this face? That's professional, that is. FYD hat and everything. God, you're repping hard today, yeah? You feeling all right? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, I didn't think so, no. No, of course not. Tackling first then, mate. Just seeing if these crimpers actually work. Oh, good stuff. Do they work? <laughs> You're about to find out, mate. I'm going to be doing that face on <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I'm doing that face behind the camera at this wire-ness. I don't understand any of this. Hey, look at this. What, my lumen? Look at that. Yeah. You did well there, didn't you? You do that for a living. Although I didn't get one beforehand. That looks really good, mate. <laughs> you've done really well there. Ah. Look at this. It's like so professional with what you've done. Professional skills. Make it look sexy. That's what I've been taught. Yeah? Yeah. That looks pretty damn sexy right there. Well done, mate. Departing from Joe's house. Uh, a lot of wiring went down there. I think that's part of builds that people sometimes don't, you know, show is if you're putting an engine in, you obviously you've got to, you know, take wires apart and stuff and I wouldn't want to bore you guys with that sort of stuff but it is quite interesting and we do have a professional wire enthusiast with us which makes it a little bit more entertaining I suppose because it's something I could not do whatsoever it's easy enough when you know what you're doing you're tracing wires isn't it really just following it you just follow the diagrams so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you've got to this part I'm about to bid on a 17 inch set of TSW Venoms for the Fiesta on eBay right now, wait for it, we've got 1 minute and 14 seconds left, let's hope I get these. I'm going to go 250. Are you crazy? Yeah? Is that a right thing to do? Oh no, I'm doing 250. <laughs> We're in traffic, hopefully this goes down guys, oh, honestly, if this happens, oh! You guys be happy, I'll be happy. How long are you on Everyone is gonna be happy. They're up to 200 quid. Got 15 seconds left, right, let's confirm it. Let's be that guy. Right, we're up to 210 pound with 11 sec- I've been outbid! No way, increase bid, increase bid. Four seconds, three seconds, two. We'll bid up for you. No, 
no, they're gone. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, guys, I missed out by five pounds. Oh, now you guys know we tried the 15s on the Fiesta, but I have sort of been looking for 17s as well because I can still use the 15s on the Saxo. So it got me thinking, let's try and find some 17s. And they were pretty much perfect. I've just missed out on them. If anybody knows of any 17 inch <laughs> 4x108 wheels, Oh my god, I need to buy them. TSW Venoms. There's a desperate man There's right there. There's a desperate man right there. Anyway, guys, we're going to finish this video here. Thank you so much for watching. From me and Josh, it's a see you later. Bye! Woo!